how I determine how much water you should be consuming, um, we need one cc or one cubic centimeter of water per calorie. So when I create meal plans, um, this also tells me my client minimum and maximum of how much water they should be drinking. So there's 30 cc's in one ounce. So if you take your total caloric intake and divide it by 30, that tells you how many ounces uh, your body will need. So if you're, for example, on a 3000 calorie meal plan, divided by 30, you'll get 100 ounces. Um, a gallon of water, like those you know, milk cartons, is about 128 ounces. So a gallon would be kind of like your marker. Um, and here's a fun fact about water. Um, you don't have to do this to the extent. Um, should you drink cold water or hot water? Well, body temperature is 98.6 degrees and ice water is 32 degrees. So if you drink ice water, your body has to heat it up to 98.6 degrees. For every gallon of water of ice water that you drink, you burn about 150 calories. So for someone doing all this cardio and is looking to lose more weight, drinking ice water will actually help you burn more calories. Again, this whole idea is to get your body to work, just like eating real food for your meals instead of shakes, um, like the example I just gave. So when I used to do meal plans for people who competed, when it gets closer to their show, I would take their shakes out of their meal plan because shakes are already pre-digested, so they don't really have to do anything or work harder. And if I give them chicken or steak, they have to go through the process of digestion, which burns more calories and they're already at a deficit. So once they get about 5% of body fat or lower um, than 5%, every pound of fat that you lose afterwards, you tend to lose one pound of muscle. So in the off season, when I work with people who um, competed in bodybuilding shows, I made sure to help them pack on as much muscle at first and then maintain it while we working on getting rid of the fat, okay? so.